Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are gonna be replacing the brake pads on this Honda PCX. I believe it's a 2019 model. Um, it has a missing caliper on the front and it has drum brakes on the back. We have our brake pads and shoes ready here. As usual, servicing the PCX is pretty much straightforward and very easy. So let's go ahead and start removing the front brake caliper by removing these two holding bolts here, which are 12 millimeters. Now that the caliper is off, we can remove the brake pad holding pin, which is this one. Uh, you can use an 8mm spanner or a socket. And once that pin is removed, you can just pull out the old brake pads. So as you can see, they are extremely worn out. The old brake pads, there's barely any friction material left. So our next step is to clean off all this brake dust from the caliper and push the pistons back inside. So I'm gonna be using some brake cleaner. Make sure that the pistons are nice and clean. And I'm gonna be using this vise to push the pistons back in. So now the pistons, both of them, are flush with the caliper. I've also removed this bracket. You can clean up these pins also and give them some new grease. They will sit just right here, in these rubber boots. So let's open up our new pads. Also, don't forget to clean up this brake pad pin. <clears throat> if there's some rust here, make sure you clean that up and also grease it a little bit. So the brake pads on the PCX are a bit different. Um, one of them has this piece over here, which is gonna sit on a pin. So let me show you. So this one with the attached bracket, this is gonna sit on the outside and this is the pin that is gonna be holding it. So that's how it will sit on the outside and the other one is gonna be on the piston side, so on the inside. So what I like to do beforehand is just add a little bit of copper grease on the pins and the bit on the back of the brake pads itself just so they don't get stuck to the pistons just a little bit is fine no need to go overboard That's it. Now once the pads are in position, grab the holding pin. Make sure you have cleaned it and looped it up a bit. I use copper grease on this. So pass it into the caliper 
make sure it passes through both of the pad ho holes. And just tighten it back. So now our pads are secured inside the caliper and it's ready to go back in on the bike. Don't forget to put a little bit of Loctite or thread locker on the caliper bolts so they don't get loose with vibrations. So make sure you torque these down to 30 newton meters, the front brake caliper bolts. And one last step before we finish off is to pump a bit the front lever. So we can set the pistons because the first few pumps are going to be really soft until the pistons adjust. Like this. So now the pistons are adjusted and the brakes are ready to be used again. So now that the front uh, brakes are done, we're gonna move on to the rear set, which are brake shoes and not pads, uh, which basically complicates um, things more because we need to remove more stuff to, re to do that because we have to remove also the rear wheel. That's the brake shoes sit here in the middle of the rear wheel hub. Now to do this, we have to remove the exhaust, we have to remove the swing arm, part of the mudguard, these two bolts, and also the rear shock. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the exhaust, which is held on by three bolts here, one, two, three, and also two 10 millimeter bolts on the engine side. I will try to show you where they are. So these are what the two 10 millimeter bolts look on the engine side. To remove the exhaust. So ideally you're going to have a quarter inch socket with an extension and the 10 millimeter deep socket. So let's start removing those two 10 millimeter bolts first. No, unfortunately, I can't really fit my camera inside here. So I'm just gonna remove the 10 millimeter bolts now. So these bolts are 14 millimeter. And that's it, our exhaust is now off. So now without the exhaust, which we have much more access to everything here. So now we're gonna remove the, the swing arm bolts, 240 millimeter. We're gonna remove these two 10 millimeter mudguard and this 12 millimeter uh, shock absorber bolt. So actually I'm gonna start with the drive shaft nut here uh, since it's much easier to remove it when everything is still assembled. Now this will turn with the wheel, so we're gonna have to hold the rear brake so the wheel doesn't turn. And I'm gonna do that with some cable ties holding the rear brake lever. So let's do that. So this is how it looks, the rear lever is now fully depressed and we should be able to remove the drive shaft nut.
Now don't forget we have to release the rear brake now so we can loosen the whole assembly. So let's cut that cable tie that we attached earlier. Now this wing arm should simply slide off. So there will be a spacer here, do not lose it. Now we should be able to remove the rear wheel also. So our rear brakes weren't as much worn as the front ones, as you can see there's still a bit of meat left. But now since we disassembled everything, we're gonna attach the new brakes anyways, which are here. These are Ferodo, this is the box, this is the model number. It comes also with the springs included. So let us start removing the existing pads. So simply pull them out. And this will remove the tension from the springs, which makes it easier for us to remove them. So don't forget how they were installed, like this, as we have to do that in reverse order now. So before we install the new shoes, we're gonna give it a coat clean with some brake cleaner. Now I do like to add some copper grease on the friction parts, which will be this pin and this pin here. So I'm gonna add some copper grease over there. Now what I'm doing is assembling the springs on the new shoes. So this is how it should look like. like this springs and the shoes and now we just do it in reverse order so place them into position split them a bit apart until they fit inside the brackets The wear shoes are now properly installed. So now if the wheel doesn't fit because of the shoes, you're gonna have to slacken a bit the rear brake adjuster on the other side. So let's do that right now. Let's slacken it out.
now that everything is assembled on the other side the one last step that we have is to properly adjust the tension on the brake adjustment so we're gonna do this by rotating the wheel by our hand and make sure that it spins freely start tightening this screw here and once the wheel starts to drag just like this look it's not turning freely anymore you turn it back one step I'm gonna do another step back and now the wheel turns much more freely and that is how you adjust the rear brake so that is the job done unfortunately since the rear wheel is still with shoes and not uh, brake pads and discs it uh, increases the time of this job by a lot but yeah that is unfortunately how it is with Honda PCXs so we have to accommodate for that if this video has helped you please like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one